The following video shows how to add a hit area in Microsoft Expression Blend 3. In the previous video, we had added a hand cursor to this mute button. Let's run the project and see the problem that we face. So when we roll over it, you can notice when you move off the, the solid portion of it, you get the hand cursor going in and out. So this is not the behavior that we want. We would want this whole area to have that hand cursor. So let's take a look at this mute object. And the one thing you'll see is on the background that the fill is no brush. And by simply changing that to a solid fill, and we run the project, you can see the hand cursor remains intact even when rolling off the icon and rolling in between the text and the, and the icon. So that's the effect we want. Obviously, we don't want to have a black fill in our design. So we'll keep the fills a solid color, but we'll change the alpha to zero. Let's run the project again and see if it remains working. And when we roll over it, it looks like it's working. Coming from a flash background, uh, there's invisible states you would add to irregular shaped icons or uh, movie clips that had irregular shapes. And as you could see, all our objects would have irregular shapes and it would be odd if you rolled in between the solid fills of this and the hand icon would go away. So uh, I hope this tutorial was a benefit to you. And this concludes this video in adding hit areas in Microsoft Expression Blend 3. And I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.